segments that we're just discussing today. And as I had mentioned, we have a guest, or should I say an expert? I think I can say an expert. <laughs> Uh, in studio, uh, so yeah, yes, yes, but <laughs> and actually, where we just left off is that we were discussing about um, this some kind of lack of innovation in the in the real estate market in Kenya compared to maybe other countries, other states, wherever. And I feel if you could just expand a bit on that, like, what do you think is the gap? Where is the gap? Well, how come since? real estate was maybe not discovered but like since kenyans took up that kind of thing how come we are still doing things the same way over and over again with no kind of interesting you know way to come up with things as you had mentioned countries like dubai and uh, south africa that are way ahead so what are we doing different what to nalag what what are we not doing right um i think starting with um innovation um i, I think i remember the te- this takes me back to campus and I remember arguing with my lecturers on how do we uh, innovate within real estate space. Mm-hmm. And um, what I noticed is that uh, ex- if, if the real estate, um, you know, with, even as an education, because it's basically land valuation, mm-hmm. estate agency, estate management, and so on. Mm-hmm. And huge focus has always been based on that aspect. But then, you know, even when you're talking about real estate as an investment, yeah. In our campus, I remember, no, this is in the UN, mm-hmm. it was basically based on an um, alternative form of investment. Mm-hmm. And the alternative form of investment is now what is dominating the market. Yeah, I think sometimes I like to compare the innovation in um, real estate to what um, what I see, for example, what is happening you know, for, in South Africa, mm-hmm. Australia, and so on, mm-hmm. where these countries are very advanced. Mm-hmm. And they've seen what it can do for you. They know, okay, so mm-hmm. we know that these properties, you know, it's limited in supply. Yeah. So what can we do, um, you know, to, to navigate around that scope? Mm-hmm. And for us, I feel like, you know, it starts with um, where what you're taught and so on. But at the same time, I also like to mention that there is so many property tech. We have now a niche market called PropTech, mm-hmm. where guys now are looking at how are we going to bring things like tokens in real estate, mm-hmm. um, units in real estate, trust mm-hmm. in real estate, mm-hmm. and so on. So... I feel like right now we're in that space Mm -hmm. that you're growing. Mm -hmm. But interesting enough, as we try to bring up the tokens in real estate, countries like um, South Korea had introduced tokens in real estate. I think there's a company called Elysia Mm -hmm. that introduced um, tokens in real estate somewhere back in 2017. So sometimes you're like more, we're trying to to catch up Mm -hmm. and we are way behind Mm -hmm. in terms of that. In terms of that. All right, um, and also something that you also mentioned even off mic is that um, there's 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 a kind of uh, should I say repetitive uh, system in the countries you you've yes, s- yes. slightly touched Copy on and it. Paste. Yeah, exactly. Where even in school, not even just real estate, but even in school, you know, okay, in the class one, same thing. Okay, fika, you know, um, high school, same thing. Okay, fika, uni, same thing. And it's like you're just taught to follow a certain system. So is that also? That's why, but many people actually have no clue about where to start concerning even investment yeah. itself, not just yeah. real estate. Because how funds you should so and as I said, you tend to Google it the terms in the kubo kubo, and you don't understand. So it's also part of the gap that we need to address in in real estate. Should it be introduced in schools, or is it too much? Like how how can we go about it? I think simple finance should be introduced in school. Mm-hmm. The other day, I was watching a video on TikTok, mm-hmm. and this lady was teaching al- alphabets and trying to make kids remember A. F- you see, remember the way we were taught A for apple and so on, mm-hmm. or R for apple, yeah. depending on the school, yeah. or B for boy. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that her style was different. She was like, A for amazing. Mm-hmm. And then she's teaching this kid, I am amazing. Mm-hmm. B for brave, I am brave. And I was like, wow. This is a better way of even making kids, um, you know, to be able to understand and grasp mm-hmm. this thing. Mm-hmm. So I think one of those things that I feel should be introduced in school is financial knowledge. Um, mm-hmm. Even if there's just a, just, you know, a rough, uh, uh, you know, a simpler way. We were talking about chemistry and physics. Mm-hmm. And trust to me, I have never used titration. I've never... <laughs> uh, the fact that I'm remembering titration. Yeah, now, I know, right? Like, like, like we have not myself. used it before, yeah. Yeah. How is titration helping me? And it's, it's the same thing that now I'm, I think I remember complaining to even to my lecturers. You're making me understand all these things. You want me to grasp all these things, but then how are they bring up life? Because mm. you know, 
every, we talk about evolution evolution is about growth mm-hmm. and you know even um even you look at the sequel of the bible there has been so much growth and so on mm-hmm. so how are we doing the same same things and then we have this thing of copy and paste mm-hmm. i feel like until i'm pesa as a country we are known so much mm-hmm. but the fact that we came up with our own innovation our own mm. way of sending money yeah vusi um this or- orator from south africa is talking about how in 2010 we laughed they laughed south africans laughed at kenyans mm. for sending money using their you know their phones as mm. sms and so on mm-hmm. but guess what the largest fintech and the largest startup in in africa is um, is safaricom mm. and the product is mpesa yeah. that is a product of innovation mm-hmm. and that's something that now we also need to start touching on mm-hmm. on real estate and i I think what got me back now to real estate is the aspect that 10 of us could own a property mm-hmm. and over a 3 months period of our one month period would be able to get returns out of this. Yeah. That means that if I had 50,000, he has 100,000, he had he has a proper uh, he has a land mm-hmm. but he doesn't have a means of developing it, mm-hmm. then we're able to build up our resources all together. Maybe mm-hmm. his, what he can provide is technical, uh, you know, expertise mm-hmm. he's a he is maybe he's an engineer mm-hmm. or he's a builder and so or a contractor mm-hmm. so looking at that and uh, i remember now now getting into such kind of innovation mm-hmm. it made me be able to also see that we are we can be able to do something yeah but then again um you know when you talk about things like real estate investment trust mm-hmm. even our regulator does not understand how this works best mm-hmm. and how can you now make it I'm um, working in Kenya yeah. as an example. Yeah. You know, we criticize before or even shoot down an idea before we even listen to it and that. And I think there's something I I have I've heard from guys in Central Bank saying is that they had to be taught how Mpesa works. Mm-hmm. So I feel like yes, um there is innovation within real estate. Mm-hmm. We also need to teach the bodies, bodies like Borax um and we that are involved within real estate space mm-hmm. that how do real estate now operate for example mm-hmm. you're coming up with an idea mm-hmm. how do you make this idea yeah. be able to be relatable to everyone mm-hmm. and even if you're trying to copy an idea make it an african like make it kenyan like yeah. because kenyans are very choosy yeah that's they, true they do copy and paste but kenyans are very choosy yeah and then um there's something you talked about saying where do i start i think that's a, a very, something very key and i'll always say this My starting point was when I bought my piggy bank was that I am going to put my coins mm-hmm. officially here and there mm-hmm. and then you know get into a space and right now you um unless um, you did the research mm-hmm. you can't do so much if you have less than a you know a hundred or even less than a million in Kenya mm-hmm. in real estate yeah. but then you ask yourself so how do I get into this space mm-hmm. and that's when now we have other alternative forms of investments mm-hmm. within the real estate now that we cannot talk about things like money markets yeah. you know um private equity funds yeah. getting the stock market yeah. learning to buy simple shares mm-hmm. learning to grow your wealth yeah. slowly over time mm-hmm. and then i think that you know you're able to now even get into it mm-hmm. because also say this don't get into real estate if you do not understand it. Mm-hmm. I have a very simple principle in investment. Mm-hmm. I share this 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 with Warren Buffett. He says this, investment is simple. Mm-hmm. When Google is gi- going to give you complicated terms, leave Google alone. Mm-hmm. Find an expert who can explain to you like you are a child yeah. trying to understand it. Yeah. The moment you're able to simplify investment, even the word real estate itself, mm-hmm. it becomes so easy. Yeah. When something is easier than yeah. You can now get into it. Yeah. But before that, it's a kuramba. It's going to be. It's a kuramba. All right. Uh, thank you so much for those very wonderful insights. I'm just... Even yet, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to explain it as though I am a child. I'm a child. But uh, yeah, very interesting. Also, um, I think getting to understand that it's... Well, we'll talk about this, of course, in the, in the next hour. Uh, but it's, I'm also getting to understand from what you're talking about here is that real estate... I'm not sure if real estate is just about housing or it has 
other areas, but we shall. I have all those questions. They are coming through. They are to call an expert. Let us have the expert way to the way you're saying that you should get an expert to explain us. We are today. We are going to be the children, and you're going to explain to us all these things. So continue sending in your comments. We are live, by the way, uh, on our YouTube, our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter platforms at Hope FM Live. So please continue streaming in your comments and your questions on the same. I'll be reading your feedback in just a few, but right about now, I would just like to play all things are ready by Sina Channel amazing one even as we head off to the final hour on the boomyard can i get a paper <laughs> she love us for that <laughs> Thank you. 
but I hope you've enjoyed the song <laughs> uh, bringing us to 8 minutes past the top of the hour right here on the Boomyard Manze uh, just going on with giving you amazing and rocking your airwaves of course bringing you amazing music in case una skizanga of course in the background ukieka tu wengine inu mnapena wangu ni filisha sana mkisema oh do you chapo zangu na pikas do you nini nini hey mnapena wangu kushow off lakini ni sawa tu when we're continuing with our conversation on real estate and um it's getting it's getting better guys it's getting better so don't worry again i keep on in, uh, insisting that if you feel you are late trust me you are not late you are very much on time for this conversation i can also see uh this is vicky mudavo listening from jogorod makadara uh, requesting for talanta by vitor mudavadi be blessed asante sana vicky and karibu sana to the show uh tuned in i can also see uh this is um and asema tune in at James Gishuru Road next to Quick Mart Supermarket near Waiyaki way to call loud and clear and a request uh, for a prayer for the boss and it was Sylvia Ogutu who is sick the daughter to Pia Ako unwell and the son who is also having an eye problem and he himself is having a fever uh, so sorry for for that and we'll remember you in prayer definitely may the lord just send healing right to you and minister healing right to you, uh, to you right now in Jesus name thank you so much for also tuning in to Boomyard and um, as you continue with our conversation by the way I'm um, continue sending in your comments uh, the conversation again is about real estate and in studio tonight we have an expert uh, known as Felix Amekata lakini mimi nasema ni expert ju mtu mimi naona mtu mwenye anajua you know very well versed si ati kujua juju but very well versed about these things mimi na consider ko expert so eh Felix even as you were telling us even in the previous hour we actually talked about innovation in the real estate um Should I call it arena? Yes, in the real estate arena and just how you know as Kenya we just need to be very creative and open minded about it. And uh we like to just move to something that ilikuwa me confused personally julikuwa umesema kuhusu rates. So nataka confirm hiyo rates kwa sababu nilikuwa nafikiri unasema land rates. <laughs> But if you could just talk to us a bit about rates and how exactly they work. Okay, um so first rates is um, it's a form of tax that you pay for owning property mm -hmm. and it is very key by the way uh, I've not sent by anyone in the, in the ministry <laughs> but what I think one of the cases that I studied in law was 
someone had owned a property who actually had been given an inheritance mm -hmm. and the government needed to prove that the property was theirs. Mm -hmm. And the only way they had proved is that they had been paying tax towards this property, mm -hmm. which is rates. Mm -hmm. So that rates, that is R-A-T-E-S. Yeah. So that was one of, it was such an interesting conversion to not wow. So that's a way of knowing understand, or understanding, yes. Yeah. So that is one of the ways. So now, but rates is, what I, when I mean rates, I mean real estate investment trust. And I feel like this is the one space where we are able to, uh, to start small. Mm -hmm. Because think about if you want to buy property today, um, when you go to the listing, you'll see property starting from as low as 3 million Kenyan mm -hmm. shillings or 2.7. That is the thing, the list that I've seen. Mm -hmm. So, And I'm imagining maybe uh, what you're adding in a month is maybe 20, 30,000 mm -hmm. monthly. Mm -hmm. You're asking yourself, how do we even get there? Yeah. So that might be a big time. Mm -hmm. And that's why for me, getting to try and innovate in this space that is for the chosen few. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, how many people can afford 2.7 million? For sure. Very Not few, many. right? Yeah. Exactly. So that's I think where we we can now get in. So real estate investment trust, yeah. are, um, I like what we have in money markets, mm -hmm. but now like you know they are they are all forms of investment schemes, yeah. and these schemes are now trying to simplify the way of investing. Mm -hmm. So what real estate investment trust is is that for example, let me use a case example that we have in the market. Mm -hmm. There's a new mall that is that I, that was built along Mombasa Road, mm -hmm. the Moimara Mall. Mm -hmm. The Imara Mall. Imara. The Imara Mall. The Imara Mall. Yeah. So the Imara Mall has uh, it, it 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 after 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 it being developed, it came out also as a rate. Mm -hmm. Later, now the government try tried to you know segment it out mm -hmm. so that people are able to get part of it. Mm -hmm. So what happens is. Imara Mall, for example, let's give it a valuation of, um, let's say, 20 billion. Mm -hmm. So the mall is maybe worth 20 billion. Mm -hmm. so, but then, initially, we don't have this 20 billion, all of us. Yeah. There is the price of the property, mm. price of cons uh, construction, yeah. so on. Yeah. So what happens is the rate is, we come together collectively, mm -hmm. and then put money in a pool, mm -hmm. and then this money is specifically involved in investing in that particular mall. Mm -hmm. So Imara Mall has some um, rates. I think the lowest one unit maybe goes around a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. But this is only for um you know big investors. Mm -hmm. But then now we can break it down and tell you how 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 will a common man go into rates. Yeah. So there is a rate called VUCA mm -hmm. by Kwetu, the Kwetu resident. So mm -hmm. all the Kwetu that you get to see that you've heard of the student housing. Mm -hmm. So what happens is because they icon um as a company yeah. I'm um, invested in this property, so now they're taking the property back mm -hmm. to the common man, mm -hmm. so that your 100 shillings actually a unit goes for around 50 shillings. Mm -hmm. So you can you can, with the 2,000 you can now have around 100 units mm -hmm. of your own, mm -hmm. and this is something you can do on a monthly basis where you structure that every month. I'm going to put say 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 mm -hmm. towards that, mm -hmm. so that way you are able to even grow your work mm -hmm. as it goes. And then what happens if now with the rate is you're able to get what we call dividends. Mm -hmm. So dividends are basically a um, return on your investment that you've made. Mm -hmm. So it's same thing, same thing as what the stock market gives you, same thing as what um, money markets gives you as interest. Mm -hmm. Now in re rates we have dividends. And then after every, let's say, three months, four months, or even one year, mm -hmm. depending on the company that you're investing with, mm -hmm. it is able to give you um, returns. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another one called Fahari, Island Rates. Mm -hmm. It is listed in the stock market. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the stock market, that is Nairobi Stock Exchange Market, you're mm -hmm. able to see Island Rates. Mm -hmm. Though this one has not paid, has not been paying people um, returns for a long time. In fact, one of uh, one of uh, um, one of the people that mm -hmm. I know really complained that they bought this for a long time and mm -hmm. they've not gotten return. But mm -hmm. right now they're back. Mm -hmm. So they are now, you know, Malls have were well on the low. Mm -hmm. well, Ilam invested in properties like the Green Pan Mall. Mm -hmm. So you can get Ilam, you can be buy, I think one unit goes for a little as six shillings. Mm -hmm. So this, you are 600 shillings, of course, the minimum because this is treated as a share. Mm -hmm. Actually, when you talk about rates, rate is like what the stock market is, but for properties. Mm -hmm. So we are all owning a part of a property mm -hmm. that as a collective, as a group now, but you get a unit. Mm -hmm. so then now after we've done, you know, they've done all the finances, then they'll be able to know, okay, our profit was, let's say 400 million. Mm -hmm. Then they'll ask, how many investors do we have? Mm -hmm. And then now they divide this 400 million towards mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Now, the, the guiding principle for it is that 80% of the returns have to be given back 
to the shareholders mm-hmm. or the unit holders mm-hmm. of this particular property mm-hmm. uh, that is in question. So I think I've given out um, um, uh, how to start on that. I don't know if you have any question on that. So when you say uh, um, when you say units, yes, yes. Um, is it the same as shares or are they two different things? Um, mo- the one of the same. Mm-hmm. The difference is shares is a unit, but unit is not a share. Hey, a share is a unit, but, but unit, unit is, is not, not a share. share. Okay. So you see, um, for for, for is. For properties, mm-hmm. all kind of properties will have what you call shares. You have a share of something, I have a share of this. Mm-hmm. But it's not this, you can't have a unit of of what is it? I'm trying to look for something. But you can you, you can you can only have a unit of something. Mm-hmm. Like you, you can have a unit of this, for example. Mm-hmm. But you can't have a share of this because you can't take this off and divide yeah, it into half, and right? divide it, yeah. But you can have a share, you see. Um in this I have I own ten percent of this for example, this screen, mm-hmm. but you can't say I own ten units of this of this particular screen. Mm-hmm. So in in this case, for units, we use them in um, in um, in investment schemes, mm-hmm. really, things like money markets, mm-hmm. and we also use them in now the rates structure. Mm-hmm. But now for shares, we we can use them in all areas. You mm-hmm. can say I own a share of mm-hmm. that property. Mm-hmm. I own a unit in that property. Mm-hmm. Get mm-hmm. because now the units are divided. Mm-hmm. But you can't say I own a unit in Safari Com. Mm-hmm. You'll be like my new road you mean Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. it it all depends on how you now look at it and break it down. Okay. Yeah. So uh a a share is a unit. Or is it a unit is a share? A unit a share is a unit. But, but a unit is not a share. Yes. Eh, that's very confusing, but okay. <laughs> All right. Um tunaendelea by the way tuna dive in jota mimi nikiwa hapa si eh mimi si pro at all as you can see I'm asking questions ni kama first introduction class. Um uh, so you can also ask your questions again the number is uh, 0717400555 that is on WhatsApp. You can send us a comment, a question and your feedback or you can drop us a comment. We are live on our social media platforms on Hope FM live at Facebook, at YouTube and at Twitter. Go and research those questions and let us know what you'd like to know. Pia Mesquias young people in case of course salary ama lab data or depend on your parents for 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 um you know that kind of pocket money you can be able to save up a bit just to be able to invest in some of this kid okay dogo to eh baba uja kibaba so again go to sending in your comments and your questions are very much open the number is 0717400555 or sms line is 20933 or you can leave us a comment on hope fm live at facebook at youtube and on twitter So what I've covered is basically for low income people. Uh, now I can now cover the, re- the remaining guys. People who are...
All right, and on the boom yard, that is actually bringing us to 28 minutes past the top of the hour already, right here on the boom yard. Manzevi Kofiti Sana having an amazing conversation just about real estate and getting to, di to digest all this information off mic, guys. As in, I just take up a minute, Jerry, Pia Kuelewa, Lakini is tough, but to Nelewa Pamoja. And um, as I had mentioned again, right here on the boom yard, we have someone in in house that is Felix who has just been taking us through the diff the actually real estate and trying to break it down for all of us to be able to understand it and so um if you could just go ahead felix and let us know the different kinds of should i say real estate investments that people can venture into because there could be a couple of them and you know i'm trying to wapi wapi scam i don't even know so what are the different kinds of real estate investments that people can take whether you have kidogo money but uh, or you have a lot of money you know for those who are blessed so yeah so um actually when I was start with when what what I talked about the last session was basically um trying to make that common person that doesn't have so much wealth mm -hmm. now to get into real estate mm -hmm. how would they get in so that segment to call it alternative investment in real estate mm -hmm. where we have schemes such as um, the rates mm -hmm. the structure and there are others that are not yet in Kenya we have tokens in real estate. Mm -hmm. I even have right now crypto in real estate and so on. So all those are alternative form of investments mm -hmm. that comes with now, you know, and so on. And then now we have the other side where we have commercial and also private properties. I think under commercial as well would make things like, for example, um, we love, and then also let me even add even communal properties. So com and communal properties will talk about maybe a church being owned by a community. Mm -hmm. And then we have commercial things like, um, petrol station, restaurants, mm -hmm. all this. This is not commercial. Mm -hmm. And then we have housing and so on. Mm -hmm. So the housing forms now and up. Um, you know, the lower segment. Mm -hmm. So commercial is um, property that you're trying to make an income out of. Mm -hmm. But then we have now things like, we have had things like now Airbnbs becoming as part of even in properties, you know. Yeah. Where you're asking yourself, I have a house and I'm asking, can I make money out of it? Mm -hmm. So by the way, as a young person, that's also a space you can get into mm -hmm. if you're able to lure people to use your apartment for example to to pay you more time into you know using this this is an, another income for you mm -hmm. so in terms of commercial commercial is anything that is able to get you returns yeah. and then now from the housing we have now apartments we have bungalows we have um, so many so many different types and even in, when you go to the apartments you have one bedroom yeah. studios mm. bed sitters by the way what i've noticed that what kenyans call bed sit um, um studios apartments in kenya are bed sitters bed sitters in Momoka. that's true Aye. that's true <laughs> it annoys me by the way i'm like how do you even call this a studio <laughs> studio is something huge you know mm. that is uncategorized the only thing that are categorized in a studio mm. is the washrooms mm. that means um and and just, i think sometimes the kitchen mm. the rest of it you can arrange the house how you want it to yeah, be yeah and you know all that so basically is that so when i talk about um the, for example low income anna now where do you be why are you able to get to anna when i talk about the airbnbs mm -hmm. go rent a property mm -hmm. buy things but then also that is a, quite an investment because yeah. for you to attract people we are looking at putting furniture tvs mm -hmm. and so on but you can only start small mm -hmm. i always say the best way to start is by telling your friend oh Bro, you're looking for a place to sleep and you're in, you know, you don't have so mm -hmm. about a thousand to sleep for you know, my room for this mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. then I host you and so on. So that's those are some of the ways. Then you start building on it slowly. Mm -hmm. And then now we have housing and commercial. So commercial properties are very expensive again. Mm -hmm. All I would say is, um, did you know that Isli, as an example, as an area, mm -hmm. has higher land uh, property value mm -hmm. than Westlands? 
So those are some of those things in terms yeah, yeah. of commercial. Yes, because not based on commercial. You'll find that an acre in Westland should go between around 200 to 300 million, mm-hmm. but in Eastland should be between 300 to 500 million mm-hmm. per acre. Mm-hmm. So these are based on the valuation, it's based on what can be done in that particular area. Yeah. Then of course, Eastland is one of those places that have so many malls. Yeah. So that is what we talk about commercial. Mm-hmm. And then our private properties, is, property can be both commercial mm-hmm. and can be housing, can all that. Mm-hmm. The difference is, is private property, it is only few people that can have access into this. Mm-hmm. And then now, now, I think something I want to talk about is also debt in real estate. So mm-hmm. I've talked about how you get to earn in real estate. Yeah. So you, you know, you're, you're able to earn in, in all those ways. But then the question is sometimes I have maybe just one million yeah. and the property I'm looking for is 10 million, but I'm on salo. Mm-hmm. So how do I get to earn? How do I get to you know start buying? Because you're always trying to plan for something ahead mm-hmm. and so one of the things that people get to do is mortgage mortgage is just yeah. simple as loan mm-hmm. it's a loan that you're just paying for the difference is that you bought a property mm-hmm. and then as just a loan comes in or your other forms of income comes in mm-hmm. you start paying for it now the two things there is um there is where you can make money mm-hmm. with mortgage mm-hmm. and at the same time it can take you through crazy debt mm-hmm. in it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. there is good debt and there is bad debt. Mm-hmm. The good debt is the debt that increases your income yeah. as you do it, like yeah. increases your your ways of earning yeah. as it comes in. The bad debt mm-hmm. is, is, is that even if you invest in something mm-hmm. that you took a loan into, mm-hmm. it, that thing that you invested is still not enough mm-hmm. to pay for this loan that you, that you took. Yeah. So sometimes I've seen wealthy people mm-hmm. in debts, of mm-hmm. course, they, they don't talk about it openly. Yeah. But for example, a guy like Rafael Tuju, mm-hmm. um, the other day I saw um, some of the people questioning uh, the loans that banks gave him and they now they want their money back because, mm-hmm. you know, he was anticipated to win an election and did not. Mm-hmm. And so that also happens to people, the common person. Mm-hmm. So if you don't structure investments well, mm-hmm. it's, uh, I don't know, it's tricky. Yeah. I always say this. Don't be quick to buy property or mm-hmm. to invest mm-hmm. if you don't know anything about it. Mm-hmm. It um, starts small where you can. Like for example, right, right now we've, we've given example of areas where we can dive into. Mm-hmm. And if BNB doesn't work for you, don't get yourself into it because mm-hmm. m- maybe you're not a good marketer. How yeah. do that work? Yeah. You know, yeah. and so on. So this is just some of the, the sim- simple areas. But now the question is, how do you make debt work for you? Mm-hmm. You took a loan from. Cent- um, um, commercial bank of KCB now, mm-hmm. and um, you're wondering how am I going to use this loan mm-hmm. to make an investment? Mm-hmm. Because even for you to access that loan, that means you have a good profile of yeah. putting in and drawing in money, yeah. Yeah. drawing up money. And what happens is, for example, if you took a mortgage of um, four million, and then over eight year period it should be about seven point three, seven point four million. So you ask yourself, if my what if I'm supposed to pay mm-hmm. on a monthly basis, mm-hmm. I'm supposed to pay about thirty thousand. Mm-hmm. You know, there is a way that they've structured, mm-hmm. but the rent that is coming from that property, or the income that is coming from that property, is twenty thousand. Then definitely that is a bad investment because mm-hmm. you'll always have to come out of your pocket yeah, for an extra for an extra to buy. Yeah. and that now that's where it becomes bad debt. Mm-hmm. But then if there's something if um, you'll hear Robert Kiyosaki talking about, he's saying. I know how to use debt mm-hmm. to be wealthy. Mm-hmm. And by the way, money is just debt. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's that. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, if you understand that money is debt, mm-hmm. you're able to use that money to work in your favor. Mm-hmm. So then how do you even now use real estate mm-hmm. to make even bigger investments? And yeah. this is now how it happens. I took a loan mm-hmm. and I'm supposed to pay 30000 mm-hmm. monthly. But my income that is that uh, from that property mm-hmm. is about 50,000 mm-hmm. then I'm in the right space because what happens is I have 50, 30 yeah. that I'm now paying yeah. and then now what happens is even the remaining 20 mm-hmm. I can structure it two ways I can even decide okay let me put some for emergency mm-hmm. in case um, things happen COVID yeah, happened then, by the way yeah. COVID happened mm-hmm. and if you think COVID has happened in back in the 18th in the 18th century mm-hmm. Britain was in debt guys like Isaac Newton mm-hmm. Also faced that. Mm-hmm. It was like, New- uh, in fact, as uh, Newton said, if there's one thing I still want to understand mm-hmm. is the investment, how it works. Mm-hmm. I understand physics, but investment is a whole other new ground. Yeah. So it tells you that, yes, you know so much, but you also have to structure the way mm-hmm. that it works. Mm-hmm. And something I like to tell people is, 
you went to school um, to be a presenter. I did not. Mm -hmm. I do not understand um, anything about this. Mm -hmm. There's someone who went to school to become a programmer, so mm -hmm. they understand that. Mm -hmm. So one of the things you need to do is have an advisor that mm -hmm. is able not to even take you structure out a way. I always say, have an investment advisor. Mm -hmm. Um, they are expensive, it's true. Mm -hmm. But trust me, the cost of ignorance is very high. That's true. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's, it's just look at um, um, the different losses that you've made. It's because did you do your due diligence? Now, mm -hmm. that is what happens with the investment. So, mm -hmm. if you have a good financial or investment advisor that is able mm -hmm. to take you, tell you, okay, you want to go into rates, there is this, um, the, all those companies that I mentioned mm -hmm. in, in the rates, mm -hmm. VOCA, Imara, Islam, mm -hmm. as an example. Mm -hmm. Chances are not even invest in any of them. But mm -hmm. now, just give you an example. As an advisor, I know what works because I've seen what works. Mm -hmm. You know, what does it work? Mm -hmm. So have an investment advisor with you mm -hmm. that is able to take and tell you, okay, you want to buy that property? Yeah. So in terms of the neighboring aspect, is the the potential returns is this? Yeah. And we have the money for it. Mm -hmm. How do you able to structure? So. We c I can't teach um, the whole uh, the whole nation in one you know in one sitting. Yeah. But what I can tell you is this is that structure out a way of having someone being able to take you mm. step by step. How do you make investment? How do you structure it out? Mm -hmm. Trust to me, mm -hmm. that person will make you wealthy. Of course, have a frugal person, someone who also understands the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I feel like you'll be in a good space. Yeah. Don't take a mortgage if you not ask for advice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so very important to have a financial advice it's actually a tip that i'm also picking up uh with mingi and i think we had talked about this during one of our conversations in our shows is that uh, we have a lot of you know microwave generation if i can put it that way we have yes. to pesa kesho stacky just leave it so you need to get someone who can walk with you in that journey all right that's what i'm getting main tip that i'm getting okay uh i'll be reading a, a comment right here just after this but continue sending in those comments there whatsapp line is zero seven one seven four hundred triple five or you can reach us we are live on our facebook our youtube and our twitter platforms at top fm live uh the conversation is on real estate investments even as we head towards the end of the uh, the final hour right here on the boom yard uh just continue sending in those questions of course even as you finalize and i'm sure you'll be able to get those answers about how you can begin even in real estate investing Thank you. 
Thank you. 
requested a song by Rose Muhando. I think that was a yule dada mani ndogo kutoka pale Tanzania. I hope you mekubamba sana. The song is Secret Agenda by Rose Muhando, bringing us to 10 minutes to the top of the hour and on the boom yard to mekua na an amazing conversation so far on real estate investments. Uh, for those who kapesa si kubwa sana si mingi sana rather um, depending on your parents for pocket money if you're in uh, university or even transitioning from university and you haven't gotten a job yet or even for those who are blessed and you're able you've been able to have a pool of funds over the years you know it's for all kinds of people and so uh, I hope you've been able to learn one or two things even as we wind up the conversation right here on the boom yard and uh, Felix even as we just uh, bring it to a close um, how would you compare uh, real estate investments to probably others like money market and you know treasury bonds and all that is it low risk is it medium is it high because you know that there are those who are like hey minataka mali pesa yangu iko assurance iko sawa but there are those who are like hey as long as i know it's bringing me something good then i'm willing to just invest so how would you compare that in terms of risk and also in terms of you know profitability over over time so um i think i would say about this Risk is dependent on a person. Mm-hmm. Or that people are more risk averse, that mm-hmm. people are less risk averse. Yeah. So, in terms of real estate, real estate is an investment for we always say know the person why. Even um, even when you're going to um, to market, for example, um, get people to buy properties. Mm-hmm. Rarely do we go to we rarely do see people going to younger people. Yeah. The owners go people with money, and that that is all the people. Mm-hmm. Because what happens with real estate? For example, if you brought up if you bought up a property, mm-hmm. you'll see this property, mm-hmm. and you see what happens is an older person has gone through all different kind of scams that mm-hmm. have happened. Yeah. So they're like, no, I am at the point where, you know, real estate real estate is a fairly um, good investment. Um, mm-hmm. For if you are less risk averse, you don't want to cover many risk. Mm-hmm. But if you're someone, if you're a young person, there are many avenues. Money market is an introduction, but also mentioned rates. Rates also an introduction into it. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a stock market also, mm-hmm. which is a good area. Mm-hmm. I always say, find what works for you, mm-hmm. because um, there's some people real estate works for them as young as they are. Yeah. There's some people who tell you, why invest in um, the stock market when I can put that a hundred thousand, put few sofa sets, mm-hmm. put up a, a property for rent mm-hmm. as a BNB, yeah. and it works for me, yeah. and it's an investment, and they'll yeah. get income. Yeah. Someone will get um, uh, 4,000 times 3, that is money to Sunday, mm. 12,000 over weekend. They yeah. multiply that by four weekends, and that for them is, you know, 48, 48 yeah. and, they're, and, they're, and they're good to go. Mm. And that would work for them, but mm-hmm. that might not necessarily work for you. Mm. So if, uh, what I would say is um, I, I assess what kind of risk are you able to cover, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. what can you stomach, and what can you st- stomach. Yeah. And then understand this. Investment is a long game. Investment is a marathon. It is not a sprint. Easy game you saying bolt. Any game a little keep job. You run. Mm-hmm. You tire sometimes along the way. Yeah. But you keep up because um, if you are building up a, if, if, for example, if you have to set up a property today, yeah. always say Rome was not built, built in one day. Mm-hmm. It was built over time. Yeah. So there's you know there's that that comes out. Mm-hmm. There's what works for you. Mm-hmm. There's still builds. I remember I was even re- talking to you about um, infrastructure bonds. Yeah. They work, right? Yeah. If someone, if I had five million today, mm-hmm. and had option of buying a property or putting an infrastructure bond mm-hmm. based on my needs, mm-hmm. as a as a, as a person, yeah, I'll go into infrastructure bonds because I know I'm able to get return of maybe fourteen mm-hmm. percent, sometimes even fifteen percent, mm-hmm. and if I compare fifteen percent returns for five million, that's mm-hmm. seven fifty thousand mm-hmm. in a you know in a year, yeah, and they are paid twice a year. Mm-hmm. So if I divide seven divide by two, that's three seven five. Mm. If I divide 375 by 6, I'm, I'm, I have about more than 60,000. Mm. So 60,000 can really cut up for my needs. Yeah. Now, that is according to how I see. Mm-hmm. But you see, we, know, we may not have the same risk factor. Yeah. If, if for example, you're looking mm-hmm. at, okay, I have 5 million and you put it in real estate, mm-hmm. you get a one or two bedroom house mm-hmm. and the rent is maybe 30, 40 mm-hmm. or even 60, mm-hmm. but then you remove things like service charge, you yeah. know, you'll get your yeah. return. Yeah. It depends on what works for you. The mm-hmm. difference between our real estate and that infrastructure bond is, you see, real estate is scarce. Mm-hmm. That's the bit of real estate. It will mm-hmm. always be scarce. People mm-hmm. always look for houses. Mm, true. Your neighborhood, um, I live in South Sea, mm. right? I would want to move to a different neighborhood. Mm. So that means that um, there's someone maybe building a house in Karen 
and God and God opened doors and maybe Karen is next. So yeah. <laughs> it means that yeah. um, someone put a structure in Karen. So mm-hmm. that means that's the place maybe I want to go. Yeah. So the, the difference is with real estate is that because they, it is scarce, mm. we'll always want to buy. To buy. We'll always want to live. You always shelter is a basic need. Mm. So mm. that aspect is what also make real estate so beautiful yeah. as a form of investment. Yeah. I think that's the one place that it beats the others is that it gives you an opportunity mm-hmm. to have the value grow. Mm-hmm. And that is, of course, the stock market will give you that. But let's face it, Nairobi Stock Exchange Market is not NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange Market. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, NSC, in Aramba Watu Wapa Inji, I always give this example. In 2014, Britam shares was 28 shillings per share. Mm-hmm. Right now, it is below seven shillings. Mm-hmm. So, if someone had invested 28 million in 27 in 2014, mm-hmm. the same 27, 28 million right now is seven million. Yeah, 20 million difference. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at that. Mm-hmm. But if you have to put 28 million mm-hmm. in properties, because is only let him we can actually money three bedroom, mm-hmm. nine, nine, twelve million. Mm-hmm. I one bedroom, one, that three bedroom kill money 27 million. Mm-hmm. So imagine you can divide 27 um, uh, and you need by three, that's nine. Yeah. We're gonna six different, uh, no, we're gonna three different properties. Yeah. If you have to sell the same, same properties, we're gonna have 28, mm-hmm. 27, mm-hmm. 24. Mm-hmm. We're gonna how much? Dang, that's a lot of money. One, oh, one, one hundred, almost one, you know, yeah. well, limits a 84 million now. Mm-hmm. So if you compare the differences, you see this property is still giving you investment. So yeah. real estate is that one area when um, it gives you money. We always say, in terms of investment, mm-hmm. real estate makes you a millionaire. Yeah. Private equity will make you a billionaire, but you need to start somewhere. Mm. So if you're a young person, and I mean a young person, you're 25, let mm-hmm. me note, um, let me be very clear, mm-hmm. you're 25, you're working, mm-hmm. find a way of getting into real estate, but then also don't put pressure into it. Mm-hmm. Investment is a long game. Yeah. Start with these things. That's why I've, I've talked about money market, I've yeah. talked about shares, stock yeah. market, and yeah. so on. Yeah. See, the stock market might not give you so much, but if you, if you hack it, mm-hmm. it will open the doors for real estate. Yeah. And then real estate will open the door for mm-hmm. private equity. Yeah. As Felix, mm-hmm. my best real estate is private equity because in private equity, is they, it's, they, this is where um, a company will go from being ten million mm-hmm. one night, mm-hmm. and the next in the in the in the, in the morning mm-hmm. it's worth a hundred million. Yeah, it's, and the same same property can move from a hundred million yeah. to one million yeah. the next morning. Yeah. so it's about the game. You know how to understand it. Mm-hmm. What kind of risk are you about to stomach? Yeah. So yeah, there's so much to real estate. All I say. Play the long game. Mm. Mm. It's, not a, it's not a a sprint. It's not a sprint. Easy game you say bold. Easy yeah. game you say Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Felix, for those amazing insights. Uh, we're actually to two minutes to the top of the hour, and uh, I think the one thing I can say is a takeaway is that it's a it's a it's a game in the long run. See uh, ya, araka araka. And also getting your, you know, doing your due diligence will really save you some losses, especially as a young person. Of course, the older generation could probably, you know, wow, well, at least we have some things here and that's on a But as a young person, due diligence, very important. And uh, there are different types. So just assess your risk and see what can work for you. Usiende ku upati wa school fees weke. Why? Tafadali, tafadali. To see weke, you know, school fees and all that for, for rent or things like that. Um, just be very wise. In, in investments and uh, again thank you so much Felix for, for coming through also tonight t- tonight's segment on Chase the Bag and uh, we I hope we've gotten so much of those amazing insights and um, time to actually call it and bring it a close right here on the boom yard because we have uh, less than a minute actually and so I'll just take the time to just uh, thank each one of you for tuning in tonight thank you so much for making time um, just to be here and uh I would just like to pray for this person who had uh, tuned in from James Gishuru next to uh, Quick Mart Supermarket. Father, we just want to pray for this person, their boss, Sylvia uh, Ogutu, who is unwell, the daughter who is also having a union problem, and also the son who's having, a, having an eye problem and 
is himself is having a fever father we remember this person oh god may you um minister healing upon them god you are a healer for excellence father and you pray that right now oh god you may visit their home oh my father and heal this household of all the kind of sicknesses that they're having and lord that you may deliver them oh god and that it shall be to the glory and honor of your name that they will give a testimony of your goodness and of your healing oh god because by your stripes uh, jesus we are healed and we thank you so much because we receive it by faith in jesus name we pray for every person even as they go into the night may you give us rest a good night sleep my father help us rise up in the morning tomorrow to go and worship you at your sanctuary my father to the glory and honor of your name so we thank you and we praise you for we have prayed this believing and trusting in jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen just type an amen right there if you're still tuned in i want again just to thank each and every one of you for tuning in tonight i hope so you may coffee tea sun i hope you may talk about it with the amazing music that has been here my name is tiffany one boy your host with the most we do this again next week on saturday from 7 p.m is the time also uh tune in um also remember uh, on fridays i usually have friday frenzy on hope tv so don't forget to tune in also from 9 30 p.m we will be live right there uh, on friday frenzy on hope tv and uh once again thank you so much and uh of course mrs how pia kesho for me sunday ni ankan to fadali for me sunday ni ankan she's a how with beat sotare from 10 a.m and also uh from there we will be having a panda panda all the way to 4 p.m so even as you go into your weekend may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may he cause his face to shine upon you may he minister to you peace and grace in everything you do in jesus name amen and amen once again please let's let's meet next week after that to see how could any pain is all my means kali kali manze to see how and uh i i just pray that uh you'll be able to have a good night's rest also please we have amazing worship music right here on hope fm the place to be where you listen and live so please do stay tuned for some amazing music coming your way Listen and live.